Hello, hello, hello! What's going on, my lady chargers? What's up with my heart-centered, loving girlfriends out there? I'm super excited to be here with you today. So, we're going to talk about some amazing things that you have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, right? Get out of your comfort zone and learn to get uncomfortable a little you got to get uncomfortable a little bit with what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So let me introduce myself. My name is Becky Lefebvre, better known as Becky in Charge, because I help you take charge of your business by branding yourself with a plan and have a social media strategy uh, to boot, right? To boot for you. So today we're going to talk about the three ways to stop guessing, stop guessing, um, yourself and speak more confident and so I want to be able to speak to you about this because um, because it's so important um, that we learn how to be able to speak right with confidence and not feel like you can't be you 100% you so we're going to talk about that three ways so here's the thing when a few years back, and I'm going to talk about confidence, you guys, but here, here's the real gift, okay? It starts when you're young, right? It does start when you're young, but it doesn't mean you can't start today, wherever you're at, right? Here's the, the thing about beliefs, right? When you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. So I want you to start with that beliefs, right? I want you to believe in yourself that you can do all things, okay? So that's the number one. So a few years ago, I really started diving deep into mindset. Mindset is everything. <laughs> I mean, before I started my network marketing business, before I did anything, you know, I really didn't understand that mindset was the number one thing in our life. I mean, if you would agree with that, drop in and let me know. Mindset is everything because you start your day with it. You start everything with one thing, your mindset. So if you don't have a strong mindset, you're gonna really have a hard time in what I'm gonna talk about today. So with the mindset I had, which was surprising to me, even though I had confidence, okay? Even though I had confidence, I didn't have the right mindset a lot of times. And I didn't really realize that. So I believed, and it, here's the thing, it all becomes in your beliefs too. So we're gonna talk about a lot of things today when it comes to confidence, belief, and mindset because it all kind of goes inside together. So I used to believe that I didn't deserve or I, I couldn't really have a large team in my business, in my network marketing business. Is that crazy? I mean, when I think of myself today, of what I used to think, I think that is so ridiculous, Becky. It even sounds ridiculous speaking it out loud. So are there are there some things that you are saying right now that if you would look back, would, would you say, that sounds ridiculous? Why am I even thinking it, even saying it out loud? So if you have those things, I want you to write them down because this is a huge process in changing the beliefs, changing the mindset, so you can start speaking with more confidence inside and outside of you, right? So how many of you believe those things? Let me know. So it is gonna be uncomfortable, and that's part of the thing, for to have more opportunity in your life, you're gonna to have to get uncomfortable in some kind of ways. So, um, you know, that is, believe it or not, that is something that you're going to have to do. Um, spending more time with the future people that you want to be in your life. Like, who is the future self that you even want to be? Start being her today. Start hanging out. Start, if you're online, which we can't really hang out right now, right? But if you're online and, um, you know, and, and then 
the, the online space that you're hanging out is so important. Why? Because it feeds your mindset. It feeds your belief. And so if those two things are fed, then here comes the trouble, right? You're not going to be able to speak with confidence. So if you're hanging out with people that lift you up, that you want to be like, then you need to start hanging out around that space, okay? Whether it's in your friends or whether it's online, there is no difference. You need to be able to hang out so you can learn to speak that language because it is embedded in us as we are young. I watched a little video the other day and it was this little boy and his mom, they were walking you know, on the street and he says, he was he he said i am special and i am somebody and i am very powerful he was speaking life into himself this little boy was probably three years old but his mom taught him how to speak life into, into himself so you, if you didn't get that as a young person you need to get it now and it's never too late right it's never too late so here are some of the things that I've taken into my life, right? Into my life since I was a little girl. I always had somebody that was speaking life into me a lot of the times, okay? A lot of times. This is where I did get my confidence, okay? Maybe not the mindset that I needed in a lot of ways, but I got my confidence because of this, okay? So I've taken this into my adult life. I've taught my own children. And I even spoke at um, abused women shelters because I believe when you help another woman rise, that's like a trickling effect, right? Because if you can help one woman rise, she's gonna speak life into somebody else. And that person's gonna be speaking life into somebody else. So can you be that light for somebody else? Absolutely, yes. Just say yes, and you can, trust me. You know, for the last 29 years, I have been a business owner. Um, I still am a business owner. I run a couple businesses, right? I coach women online, how to bring their business online. I'm a network marketer myself. I have a team and I have a hair business that I work out of three days a week. So I have been taking inventory for a very long time, a very long time. And I, I used to hear, this was the biggest thing that I would hear was lack of confidence. And I would think to myself, why? Why is there so many women out there today that have this lack of confidence that can't speak up and really truly speak out for themselves and for other women, right? I'm not even speaking for myself. I think a strong woman can speak for herself, but she can also speak for others. And so if you are in a business, you want to have that business mindset. It's not a me, me world. It's not take, 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 right? You gotta be able to give, give, give to be able to take. Give, give, give for you to be able to take. So. Here's the thing. So um, you don't need anybody's permission, number one, okay? So the biggest thing that uh, is lacking is, this is what I found is, yes, people have other opinions. You have an opinion about me talking about what I'm talking about probably, right? There's always gonna be somebody that has an opinion. I have an opinion, you should have an opinion on what is going on, right? You should have an opinion, but, Here's the but. Other people's opinion should not affect how you show up for you, how you show up for your business, how you show up to help other women, your family, right? Your spouse. No one should ever, they can have an opinion, but it shouldn't sway you, right? It shouldn't sway you, it doesn't sway me, and it shouldn't sway you from it. So be persistent. Be persistent and stop living for somebody else's purpose because trust me, girlfriend, you have your own purpose, right? Even though, sorry, I thought I turned my messenger off. Even though um, other people are gonna try to persuade you, it's gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna, you know, there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna come at you, but number one, you have choice. 
right? You have choice and choices is, is you don't need permission from anyone to do what you want to do in life. So number one, number one, words are powerful. Words are powerful. You are enough and show up as you. Okay, this is something that is going to be continuously learning in your life. Always be a student. Girlfriend, can I just tell you, I was not a student in high school. No, didn't like it. I didn't like school, period. Nothing more to be said. But I tell you what, when I started doing something that I absolutely loved and was passionate about, I became a student, right? And I will be a student for life because I'm passionate about it. So when you become passionate about what you do in life, you know you're on the right path. Girlfriend, you will speak your confidence no matter what because you're passionate about it. You love what you do and that will speak life into others. Okay. So I have a question. Have you really ever asked yourself, sat down and really asked yourself, what do I want? I'm asking you, have you ever sat down and asked yourself, what do I want? No, I never did. <laughs> did you let me know, drop down, have you ever really sat down or has life just been happening for you? Have you accepted what has come along in your life? I want to know because I did a lot of times, a lot of times I did. I was just go, go, go. I am one of those, <laughs> I'm all about the fun and I'm all about business, right? I love me to make some money. I love other women to make some money and I like to help my family thrive and I love to help others thrive. So, but I'm also all about the fun in life. So sometimes I can get off on that, right? Because I love to have fun. So I want you to ask yourself, write it down. What do I want? What do I want? That's a powerful question. And if you've never asked yourself, you probably will struggle. I know I did. So ask yourself these questions. Ask your family, ask your kids. They should be asking themselves better questions. Not having somebody else dictate their life, but asking themselves, showing that they have the power within to ask themselves, what do I want, right? I didn't ask you, what can I have? Right? I didn't ask you, what can you have? Because you can have anything if you know what you want. It's simple as that. Number two, no one is ever going to give you permission. Right? This is not in school. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go? Can I do? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. You don't have to ask for permission because no one's going to give it to you anyway. So if you know what you want, you don't have to ask for permission to go get it, okay? So you don't need a prerequisite to start wanting to talk to somebody and show up. You don't need a certificate. You don't need a certificate. You don't need a book. To, you don't need a book. You don't need a degree. You, we could go on and on and on. If you can help another soul, you should. You should. Maybe you don't agree with me. But that's okay. That's an opinion, right? And everybody's got one. So number three, some women believe that they don't have confidence because they're an introvert. How many of you on here right now are introverts? Let me know. Drop in. But just put me below or drop a one below. That is something that you have been telling yourself for so many years that that has became a belief that you have chose to believe. And I want you to believe that it's not true. It's not true. It's frankly not true. Because you're shy, because you're introverted, doesn't mean you lack confidence. You have all the confidence in the world. You have all the confidence in the world. You can access your own confidence at any time, at any time. You can 10X it at any time. Did you wake up this morning and brush your teeth and did you find that you had lack of confidence in brushing your teeth? I don't think so. 
You had confidence and you showed up and you brushed your teeth. You had confidence, you showed up and put your makeup on. Maybe curled your hair, right? Maybe curled your hair, okay? Just for you, peeps. I curled my hair just for you. So, you do have confidence. And I want you to start telling yourself every single day that you do have confidence, that you can show up and share what you have, that you will build the business of your dreams because every day you're gonna show up and do it. And when you show up and do it, you are making a statement to yourself, you're taking action. And guess what that does? Taking action shows you have confidence. It's as simple as that, you guys. It really is. I thought all my life it was more. Come to find out it's not. You make a decision. Only you make the decision to show up and be confident every single day. So um, what does confidence specifically, right, give me or give you? What do you think it is? If I asked you, what does confidence specifically give you or me? What would you say below? Drop it below. So the ability, this is what it says for me, and it might say this for you, the ability to approach anybody in my business. I have courage, right? I can show up for me because I'm good enough. Because I told you you were good enough. And that should be enough. For you to show up, showcase, and learn how to run your business each and every day shows you have confidence. People will see that you have confidence. What makes you think that I have more confidence than you? What makes you think that? Because I don't. You have enough confidence just like I do. I know I am enough because I'm not like anybody else, and neither are you. You have your own soul's purpose to be here. And no matter what somebody else's opinion is about you, is their own opinion about themselves, okay? That is their opinion, and it typically is an opinion of themselves. They're in a mirror of themselves, and they push it out onto you, and you soak it up because you allowed it. My friend, my girlfriend, my charger, do not allow this, okay? Tell me below, no more. I will not allow other people's opinions to affect me, to change my mind, to, to, you know, not be my purpose, to help my family, to help the other women that need my message today. Because I guarantee you there's other women out there right now that need your help, that need your voice, just like you needed this today, right? Just like you needed this today. So believing in, believing in, that speaks confidence, period. Like, end of story, right? Nailed it. Believing in that, whatever it is, boom, speaks confidence. Would you agree? So if you loved this video, how many other girlfriends would too? You might wanna grab that button below and get it out, right? Grab that button below and get it out to your girlfriends, tag your girlfriends. And if you want more, if you want more, I do so much more. We have different trainings, especially if you're an entrepreneur, network marketer, we do in-depth training on how to move your business forward. Before I go, I want to leave this quote with you for today. Make sure to write it down so you can read life into yourself every single day. Okay? So thought of the day, the value your value doesn't decrease based on somebody else's ability to see your worth. Let me say that again. Your value doesn't decrease based on somebody else's ability to see your worth. All right? All right, you guys, as always, you know, big hearts, big loves. Go out and make it an amazing day, and I can't wait to hear from you soon. Bye for now.